Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back again with another video. I know it's been a little while, a little bit longer than usual since my last video, and I apologize for that. But today, we are going to be taking a look at Golf Blitz. Now, what is Golf Blitz? First of all, this is a portrait style game. So those of you who do not like portrait style games, this may be a turn off. I love pro portrait style games. They're just great for pulling it out of your pocket, playing for a couple minutes and putting it back. Now, this is a multiplayer game in portrait style, like I mentioned before, and everything is 2D in it, no, no 3D whatsoever. And it's basically, imagine miniature golf on steroids. Now, there's, it's just very wacky, unrealistic. It's by the makers of Stickman Golf, if you guys are familiar with any of the Stickman Golf games. This is actually the first one from these makers that I've ever played, and I love it. Now, there are 50 different tours that you can work your way through and progress through. Um, and each tour has a set of unique um, holes to try to defeat your opponents with uh, in. Now, there's different types of golf balls that you can shoot and level up. There's a bunch of statistics that you can level up as well. You can choose to increase your power or your accuracy or um, the speed. Now, unlike most golf games, it's not turn-based. It is time-based. And what I mean by that is yeah, uh, everyone can hit the ball at the same time, and then once your ball comes to a rest, then there's a specific amount of time that you have to wait before you hit again. But there is no turn order, so to speak. So it's kind of a real-time golf game where you're trying to race to the end and hit it in the hole first. And there's just a series of hers, uh, holes, and the person who consistently places the best eventually wins. I really like this concept. It unfortunately does have uh, the Clash Royale concept where you can get multiple copies of different balls like golf balls and uh, Level those up to give them better stats and stuff like that um, you obtain packs whenever you play a match or win and You have to wait a, a certain amount of time for that pack to open however, I do not feel the pay to win element of this at all as bad as Clash Royale. And I've progressed quite far into this game so far. It's my go-to game whenever I have some spare time on my phone right now, which surprises me. So that I don't worry about that too much. You can unlock so many different uh, stickmen to be golfing with. There, you can unlock all kinds of different outfits. And you unlock these outfits using the in-game currency that you get from packs that you open. Now, every time you unlock one of these outfits and stuff like that, uh, it levels up your account. So that's what uh, the driving force behind that is. Um, but it's so fun. There, each course, it, like every, every so often, a certain tour will introduce a new mechanic. Or you, uh, once you level up enough, it'll introduce a new golf ball to you. And the multiplayer is just so fun. It's real time. Matches are just as fast as Clash Royale, if not faster sometimes. It's just a great game all around that doesn't take itself too seriously. And it's the perfect game to play when you only have a certain amount of time. Um, but yeah, it, this is basically the only multiplayer game I'm playing on my phone right now. And it's just simple and satisfying. I highly suggest you guys check it out. And also to check out the other Stickman Golf games. Because if this one is super good and it's kind of a spin-off of the Stickman Golf series, imagine how good Stickman Golf itself is. So I highly suggest you guys check out the other games by this developer. Um, maybe support it if you want or at least spread the word around. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, this helped you guys find a good multiplayer game that you can spend your time with. Make sure to like and sub if you're new. I apologize for not pushing out as much content as I normally do as often, but the reason being is I have started streaming on Twitch again. Make sure you guys follow uh, twitch.com slash mintcity. Go pop a follow. We play random games on PS4 there. Uh, I am going to try to set up some mobile streams soon as well. So make sure you guys go pop a follow so that you can get that notification when I'm live. And I'd love to chat with you guys real time and get your guys' thoughts and opinions on certain games and just chat with you in general. But I appreciate you guys spending the time to take, uh, spending the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it and take it easy.